Hello, and welcome to Montgomery Blair High School. My name is Peter Ostrander, and I'm the Magna Coordinator. In this presentation, you will be learning about the Science, Mathematics, and Computer Science Magnet Program at Blair. For information that is more general for Blair High School, you can view the Academy Program video at the website listed on the screen. While the Magnet and Academies are different programs and students cannot be in both, the electives offered through the Academy programs are available to all students in our school. Additionally, the video will showcase other opportunities at Blair. You can also find more information on the Blair website. In order to be eligible to apply to the Magnet program at Blair, students must meet the minimum guidelines shown on the screen. Students must currently be enrolled in Algebra 1 or a higher math class. Students must reside in one of the 16 high school feeder areas shown. Students who live in other MCPS high school areas must apply to our sister program at Poolsville High School. This year, an information sheet on all countywide programs your child is eligible for and a link to the common application for all high school programs will be provided in the documents section of Synergy Parent View. The application for all programs is due on November 5th. No final decision has been made at the county level regarding recommendations or testing requirements for magnet programs. For more information, please visit the MCPS Special Programs website listed below. The magnet program takes a different approach than a traditional high school. Our program is interdisciplinary. For example, in our freshman year, when students are learning about projectile motion physics, students will learn the related mathematical concepts in their math course, model projectile motion, and theoretically design a trebuchet in their computer science course, and build a trebuchet based on their models in their engineering course. As students progress through the program, they are asked to apply concepts learned in their classes to a wide range of other disciplines. Our program is not an AP program. All MCPS schools offer a wide range of honors, advanced level, and AP courses for students wishing to seek additional challenges in high school. However, for some students, AP coursework is not enough. Students in our program typically finish AP level coursework earlier in their high school experience and need additional classes. In computer science, all magnet students will take a course called Algorithms and Data Structures in their sophomore year. While not an AP course, students will sit for and do well on the AP exam after taking this class. This leaves two more years of computer science instruction beyond the AP level that our school uniquely offers. Students can take electives such as analysis of algorithms, artificial intelligence, or cybersecurity, among others. A similar approach is taken in mathematics. In the science courses, such as physics, biology, and chemistry, we take a depth over breadth approach. While the AP Biology course is a strong course, our program looks to take the individual concepts that might be taught in a survey course and goes deeper into these topics. For a content like biology, this means that all students take a general biology course in their sophomore year, followed by the option of taking specialty electives such as cell physiology, genetics, neuroscience, or marine biology. Students wishing to sit for the AP exams still may do so after taking a series of these electives, but our courses are not limited to the scope of the AP content. Our courses are set up so that students can challenge themselves beyond the scope of the course. Integrated into each class is a research strand that allows students to explore related content of their choosing. This culminates with students conducting independent research with an outside organization prior to their senior year. Our program has modified the sequence of courses taken in math, science, and engineering specific to our school. Students will follow a prescribed path in these courses during their first two years and then select from elective courses in their final two years. Students who are accepted to the magnet program will take all of their coursework at Blair. This includes a wide range of humanities and elective courses. In mathematics, there are three typical starting points. For students who are currently in algebra, students will start in magnet geometry. For students currently in geometry, the starting point is magnet precalculus. This is the most common entry for students. And for students currently in Algebra 2, the starting point is magnet functions. You will notice that there is no Algebra 2 course in this sequence. We condense the traditional Algebra 2 and precalculus content into three semesters and title the sequence Precalculus A, B, and C. 
we do not eliminate any content, but actually cover additional content taking a proof-based approach. However, because of the nature of our program, we accelerate through this content at a faster pace than a typical program. All students in the magnet program must take at least one year of calculus. Our calculus course is titled Analysis 1. Students will be prepared to sit for the AP Calculus BC exam after this course. After completing a year of calculus, students have the option of various math courses. These elective courses can be the continuation of calculus or other math subject areas. Taking applied statistics is required for students completing their senior research project, something almost all of our students do. The math elective courses are locally designed. With the state requirement of students taking math all four years, there are enough math courses at Blair for even the most advanced students. In science, we believe students must have a solid foundation in different disciplines. All magnet students will take physics and chemistry during their freshman year. These courses are designed to be a year's worth of content that is delivered in a single semester. Again, we go much deeper into certain topics that you would see in a traditional course, and research components are built in. During their sophomore year, students in the magnet program will take a biology course for the full year and earth space systems for a semester. During a student's junior or senior year, they will have the option of taking a wide range of science electives from immunology to organic chemistry to quantum physics. In computer science, all magnet students must complete two years of studies. All students start off with fundamentals of computer science in ninth grade. The course is not a programming course, but focuses students on how to use computer technologies to help solve problems in other content areas. Students will focus on data analysis and computer modeling. The sophomore level course is a more traditional programming course, and students are able to sit for the AP Computer Science A exam at the end of 10th grade. Currently, we do have an accelerated option for students. We wait until a semester of freshman year has passed and then allow students to apply to be considered for this option. Again, there are a large number of specialty electives offered for students to take in their junior and senior years. All magnet students must take two years of engineering courses. This starts with a course titled Research and Experimentation for Problem Solving. This course works closely with the freshman science courses of physics and chemistry. Students engineer devices to help solve scientific problems from those courses. Starting in the second semester of sophomore year and continuing to the first semester of junior year, students will take a magnet version of Foundations of Technology. This second class is aligned with state guidelines so that students earn the technology education credit needed for graduation. Of note in the elective offerings is the senior research project. All students are encouraged to take this course, which is highlighted by an outside internship between junior and senior year. The research project provides a very unique opportunity for students to conduct real world research alongside of professional scientists. Students completing a project receive a research project endorsement on their magnet certificate upon graduation. Again, elective offerings are available to juniors and seniors. Blair offers a wide range of courses in all subject areas. Because we are a large school, we can offer electives that other schools cannot. The link shown below allows you to see our course bulletin and view all the courses that are available at Blair. AP courses are offered in English, Social Sciences, World Languages, and Fine Arts. Additionally, Blair offers specialty electives that engage with students in new and exciting ways. Countywide courses such as Women's Studies, Hip Hop History and Culture, and Political Psychology were developed and piloted at Blair by Blair staff and students. Students in the Magnet Program take an additional class. This significantly adds to a student's workload, and both students and parents need to be mindful of this when applying. During a normal school year, this means that our dismissal will be at 320, 50 minutes later than other high schools. Our schedule at Blair is blocked. This means that during a traditional school year, students will see five of their eight classes every day. This is accomplished by having six of the eight classes meet every other day for 90 minutes, while two of the eight classes meet every day for 45 minutes. In ninth grade, the core magnet classes are blocked together so that the teachers can rearrange time based on classroom needs. 
Even though our school day is extended, all students may participate in athletics as practices start after our 320 dismissal. Three days a week, Tuesday through Thursday, students may participate in clubs, after school activities, or seek help from teachers. Transportation is provided to central locations within the 16 high school clusters, both to and from school. And on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, this transportation is provided at the end of the school day, as well as an hour and a half later for students doing activities. The Magnet Program is a challenging program. We utilize a wide range of student supports to help students along the way. Our teachers and counseling department are great resources if your child runs into any snags or needs additional assistance. Students have a lot of choices for clubs and activities. On the screen is a snapshot from the clubs list a couple of years ago. While most clubs persist through the years, some clubs come and go due to student interest. Students from the Magnet Program participate in many activities. They play on all of the sports, they are on the debate team, editors of our school newspaper, serve in student government, and build robots for competitions. Clubs, sports, and activities are a great opportunity for Magnet students to become part of our larger school. We encourage our students to engage in activities at the local, state, and national level. Our students vie in many academic competitions and are recognized for their accomplishments. As your students progress through high school and college, it's very important for them to find the areas of their interests, their passions, as they go through school. Before I go on to the next slide, I want to give a little warning. Each year we are asked about college admissions for students from our program. And while it's true that our students are selected to some very competitive universities, there's no way to connect any of this past data to any future children. All MCPS schools can prepare students for any university. Expressing to your child that only specific colleges are good enough adds unnecessarily to the stress that already exists in high school. There are a lot of great colleges out there. Many of these colleges are even going to be willing to pay for your child to attend. At Blair, we average about 20 students a year who are offered a full Banneker Key Scholarship at the University of Maryland. From our program, about 98% of our students who apply to University of Maryland are accepted, and the average merit aid for University of Maryland is $8,000 a year. Because UNEMD knows how very well prepared our students are for college, that's what's important to us. And we feel that being prepared for college is a better metric than college admissions overall, as there are too many factors in college admissions that we cannot control, such as legacy programs. However, we are asked about college admissions data every year, and so we are going to share the data. This map shows the colleges and universities where last year's graduating class is attending this fall. And here is a list of colleges and universities that offered a student in our program admission based on the same surveys for last year's graduating class. If you are asking yourself, how do I know if Blair is a good match for my child? We have provided some questions that may help. Is your child inquisitive? Do they seek out knowledge? Do they think outside the box or only work from what is shown to them? We know that when asked how their day was, many students will just say fine. However, when engaged in math, science, or technology, do they expand on their thoughts and provide more than just the minimalist answer? Can they build their own knowledge from their experiences? Are they actively engaged in their own learning? Do they take things apart? to figure out how to make it items better by putting them back together? Are they self-reflective and willing to persevere through self-improvement? Thank you for your interest in our magnet program here at Blair. We understand this presentation isn't the same as visiting our school, talking with our students, talking with our teachers, and getting the feel for what we have to offer. If you have any questions, you can contact our office in a variety of ways as shown here. And while we're in a remote learning setting, the best way is probably through email. Once again, we appreciate your interest in the Magnet Program at Blair High School. As more information is available about the application process, we will be providing it on our website. 
Thank you and have a good night.